Hey guys, Ultramaximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a Transformers Energon figure and its backstop. So I got this guy from uh, a fellow Facebooker, Kevin, from the Transformers Buy Sell Collect uh, Facebook group. And uh, I got a lot from him, which had a bunch of rescue bots and a couple beast hunters figures and this particular energon figure which is actually what i was after um, i really liked this figure when it came out um there was something about it it just looked kind of cute it reminds me of a little baby rhino and uh i just really liked it and i've never actually seen the energon show so if you have if you're familiar with it i'm not sure if this character actually appeared in the show or not please let me know he does have the cyber key that came with and that is the Beast Planet, I believe, um, is what that cyber key is from. So, uh, the background on the character, I really don't know. Which, if you do, please comment, let me know, educate me. I would love to know it. But he is a uh, kind of Cybertronian rhino or a um, beast, I guess. And it's a nice little uh, beast mode. I do like it. I think it looks really, really uh, stout. The detail is done well. I love the horn, the little uh, cybernetic horn going on. The All the paint pick details here. Just really, really nice. And it hides the robot pretty well in the um, rhino mode here for what it is. Uh, this, of course, is a small figure. This is, a, I guess, a, a scout class sized figure. Not really quite a deluxe, but a little bit smaller. And it's just a fun little figure, definitely. The detail on the face looks really, really nice. I like the rhino hide look on it. He's got these little ears. The eye is painted in. And I like the kind of greenish gray color, um, which is a little bit different than the uh, gray at the bottom. Again, it's got that rhino hide mixed in all over the place um, on the figure. Got the Autobot logo, and they mix it in with the robotic pieces. And that just looks really, really nice. And he's got his little tail. Um, just really, really cool. Very, very well done. He does have a gimmick where his horn pops out if you use the cyber key. So you plug the cyber key into the back of his head. If I can get this to work here. Ah, like so. So there he is with his cyber key. And then you push the cyber key in and his horn pops out. Um, and it's got some nice detail there. So yeah, that's pretty much the gimmick on the cyber key. Which works. It's fine. I like it. Not a problem. Now, just to compare him, let's take a look at the only other Rhino that I have, and that's Rhinox. So this is Voyager Class Generations Rhinox to Energon Backstop. As you can see, much, much, much difference in size. Uh, backstop here is a very small figure, but that's okay because I think it's done really, really well. I like him. I'm surprised we have not gotten a repaint of this guy as Rhinox. We have seen a few different repaints uh, for this character, I think, in the universe um, or Generations line. I think there's at least two different paint schemes of him. I'll try to find some pictures of them and post them at the end of the video so you can see the other paint schemes. Uh, but yeah, I'm just shocked we haven't seen this guy as Rhinox. I mean, it just primed for that, I think. So let's go ahead and get Backstop into his robot mode and see what we think. All right, so here we have Backstop in his robot mode, and he's a chunky little dude, but I do like him. He does have character. Um, it's interesting. It's an easy transformation, but it's a pretty fun transformation, really. Very simple. Uh, the... Rhino legs here just kind of 
fold down and then fold together to become his actual legs. He does have movement in his hips, but unfortunately there's nothing in the knees. It would have been nice if these could have spun around so that his little rhino toes could have been facing forward, but it is what it is. I mean, this is a little inner John figure. Uh, but overall, I mean, I really do like the detail. I like the um, kind of dark gray detail there. Looks like some robot wiring underneath. His head sculpt is pretty decent. It's hard to see because it's all red, but he's kind of got this little gnarly looking, almost troll looking face, which is very, very interesting. His um, rhino head does not really uh, move per se. It just goes up and down and then his hand folds out from underneath his mouth. His little gimmick does work in this mode, uh, so he can deploy that. And then his other hand over here is kind of like this claw, and this is really the rhino butt, but it makes this kind of three-fingered claw thing. I guess if you want to have him flip somebody off, you can do that. Uh, but it's basically just this little claw that uh, does have movement this way um, and goes in and out, and that's really about it. His head just literally flips up from the side. There is nothing on the back. Uh, very, very simple figure, but a cool figure. I really do like this guy. Um, for some reason, I see this guy as Outback. He really does remind me of Outback for some reason. Um, and I'd like to see a repaint in that color scheme, even though rhinos didn't exist on, or don't exist on Africa or Australia. Uh, but I still think it would be kind of fun. Here's a quick comparison for size with, um, uh, Deluxe class Transformers Prime Ratchet. Um, looking pretty darn cool. Um, yeah, so I mean, he's about half the size of a deluxe figure. Uh, definitely fun, definitely cool figure. I really do like him. Is this something that you want in your collection? Um, if you like weird offbeat Transformers, I'm going to say yes, you're going to like this guy. Um, if you're an Energon fan, yeah, you're probably going to want this guy. Uh, he's not somebody that I'm going to seek out purposely. He was in a lot of figures, and he caught my attention, and I figured, well, I, I'm going to review the other figures. I might as well get this, um, and he's definitely fun stuff. I would pick him up probably no more than $10, and that's pushing it. And that's probably going to have to be in package for me to pick up for $10. He's about a 5 or $6 figure, in my opinion. But he's definitely worth that five or six bucks. Um, he would be a fun figure to pick up just running across eBay and seeing what's in the cheap bins, as I like to say. Uh, but definitely a fun figure to pick up. So there he is. Uh, Batstock from Transformers Energon. Kevin, thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. Um, if you guys like my video, uh, thumbs it up. If you hate the video, thumbs it down. Definitely share my videos. Subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. And as always, look for more videos in the future.